Most of my best childhood memories are of riding snowmobiles with my dad, either sitting in front of him or tagging along behind him on my own sled. My dad's always said the best thing about being a dad is watching his kids develop a passion for the things that he loves to do. Now that I've got my own little motorheads running around, I can confirm that he was 100% correct. Of course, it's no secret, the earlier you start your kids riding, the greater their passion will be. And for the first time in over 40 years, the snowmobile industry has a full range of sleds for kids from the smallest 120s to Polaris's brand new Indy Evo. Today, I wanna to take a look at these sleds and the kids who ride them to get a better understanding for how they all work together to develop a whole new generation of passionate snowmobilers. So I've assembled my two daughters, Callie and Alice, and Vern's two daughters, Kaylee and Natalie, and a sample of all the sizes of kids' sleds currently available, including an Arctic Cat ZR120, Yamaha Snow Scoot, and Polaris Indy Evo, as well as an older Skidoo Freestyle 300. Then I sat them down and got their opinions on each sled. The smallest sled we have here today is Arctic Cat's ZR120. Its 120cc four-stroke engine runs smooth and its small size makes it extremely easy to handle. My name is Alice Gaster and I've been riding snowmobiles for one year. It's just so fun. I love riding snowmobiles. The thing I like about the ZR120 is it's not too big and easy for me to ride. An adjustable governor lets parents adjust the top speed as skills and capabilities progress, making it perfect for the smallest of riders. The only thing I want to me is this cockpit. Daddy's gonna fill it back up again. <laughs> Yamaha's original snow scoot is an iconic sled that despite being discontinued in 1988, sells today for double what it costs brand new. The new snow scoot is exactly what this industry has needed since the old one was discontinued over 30 years ago. An intermediate kids sled that bridges the gap between the 120 and a sled with a full size chassis. Its 200cc engine runs flawlessly. Functional suspension actually produces some pretty impressive travel numbers and a decent lug on the track combined with a 27 mile per hour top speed makes this a completely capable sled in nearly any condition. My name is Callie Lester and I've been riding for three years. I first started riding, my grandpa bought me a 120. The thing I like about riding snowmobiles is spending time with my friends and going fast. The snow scoot is the right size for me and it makes snowmobiling more fun. The thing I like most on my snowmobile is hitting jumps. The snow scoot is better than the 120 because it has better suspension and it's faster. I like that it has hot grips and I like how it has a fast motor. Parents should buy it the snow scoot because it's fast and it's fun to ride on. The only thing that should change about the snow scoot is it should be a little bit more quieter. Lots of sleds intended for adults but perfect for youth have come and gone over the years. Finding one of these sleds in excellent condition or restoring one that may be a little bit rough is a great way to get your kids out on the snow without breaking the bank. Yamaha's Bravo is a great example of a sled that is perfectly sized for a kid who's too big for a snow scoot, but not yet big enough for a full-size sled. Another great example is Skidoo's Freestyle. I've been snowmobiling for about two years, but I've been on the passenger since like I was six. So when the snow scoot came out, um, I just started to ride it and it was super fun. And then my dad was just like, you know what? You can ride the Freestyle, you'll be awesome on it. Uh, my freestyle, when we first got it, was really rough. We needed to fix it up a lot. We had to fix a lot of parts like the skis, the windshield, the shocks. So now that it's fixed up, I can just rip on it. When you're my age and you have the chance to have the freestyle, just go on it and have fun with it because you're the perfect height and age. So you ride appropriately on it, not be like puny on the snow scooter or something, or like not be able to reach the handlebars on a bigger sled. So this sled is a really good 
It still took a lot to get used to, but when I got used to it, it was very smooth and it's very fun to ride. The only thing that, that we could change about this sled is putting an electric start on it. I definitely cannot pull it. To all the parents who are watching, you should buy your kid a snowmobile because it is so much fun. If you get the right sled that fits for your kid, they will have so much fun on it. And when they're older as adults, then they can show their kids what skills are up their sleeves and their kids could ride as well. And you could feel good about yourself that you made that tradition. The last sled we have on the ground today is a brand new model that acts as the final stepping stone to a full-size sled because it can be transformed into a full-size sled as your kids' skill levels grow. Polaris's Indy Evo looks like a regular Indy that's been lowered, but the truth is it's so much more than that. It's based on a standard Indy chassis, but is narrower with shorter travel suspension, a lower seat and lower handlebar position but it features a full-size 550cc fan-cooled engine with removable limiter, fully featured gauge package, and full-size switch gear. Polaris offers kits to remove the speed limiter and uncork all the potential of that 550 mil and to widen the front end for more stability. As it sits, the Evo will do 50 miles per hour and it gets there fast. It also handles really good and while down on travel, still rides great with a lighter rider on board. Hi, I'm Kaylee Hodge-Putzer, and I've been riding snowmobiles for five, six years. What I like most about riding snowmobiles is just the freedom you kind of have. You're not stuck on the back all the time, just kind of like sitting there. You've got a better perspective of the ride, basically, and it just makes it a little bit more surreal. So what I had before the uh, Evo was the freestyle. So the Evo is like, way better than the freestyle. It's so much more lighter. You can maneuver a lot better. You're not working as hard to get around the corners or up hills. It lets you handle it really well. The motor on the Evo is definitely more powerful than the freestyle. You get a pretty good speed going on a decent trail. It's not like you're going super fast, but it's like manageable. The Evo is suspended on a modified version of Polaris's Pro Ride front end with a non adjustable set of ride effect shocks stamping 4.1 inches of travel. Out back, a standard Indy skid frame produces 9.1 inches of travel that is damped by another set of non adjustable ride effect shocks. An Evo specific set of skis provides excellent bite and easy steering. When you're going along bumps, it's not like boom, 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 boom. It really handles the bumps really well and even sitting down on the bumps, you're not like jumping up and down, up and down. An Evo-specific seat is significantly lower than a standard Indy seat. And while the bodywork does resemble a full-size Indy, it's actually smaller in every dimension. This sled fits smaller riders better than a regular size sled, only because the handlebars are lower, so it's not like you're reaching all the way up to try to like steer and you can't see. Seat is lower, so you don't feel as high off the ground as a smaller rider would. And you don't feel as anxious on this sled as you do like a regular size sled. The looks of the Evo, honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. It's not like smaller sled like the Snow Scoot or like the 120. It fits into the looks of like a regular size sled and doesn't make you feel as like, oh, look at me, I'm so tiny. <laughs> like you kind of feel more included with the bigger sled. While our story today is about younger riders, I can report that the Evo is great for smaller adults too. In fact, my wife loves it and prefers it over any of our other full-size sleds. Our Evo is equipped with electric start, which is an option, but in my opinion, should be standard on all Evo models. A long list of Polaris accessories are also available for the Evo right now. At first when I was riding the sled, I was like, oh geez, this is another kiddie sled. But then like, next day I rode it, I was like, Wow, like, this is cool. I actually really like riding this. It fits me really well and all that. The first thing my dad really wanted to put on the sled, a pre-studded track that has more lug. And my old sled had adjustable shocks on it, so I think this sled should come with adjustable shocks. Oh, okay. I'd recommend the Indie Evo for someone who's looking to buy like, a sled for their kids. It's smaller for a kid, less intimidating. It still keeps up with the rest of the family. It's lighter and you can maneuver it better. 
Snowmobiling is a sport best enjoyed with others. It always has been. It's also a great sport for kids that teaches them responsibility, self-control, and pride of ownership. I grew up riding sleds with my dad, and now my kids are growing up riding sleds with their dad. And I know for sure that just like me, the memories that they're making are gonna last them forever. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and then subscribe to Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel that's constantly being updated with fresh content.